I have this a Happy Easter plaque that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It was majorly discounted. I picked it up for a few dollars, and I'm going to start by covering the image in our Wise Owl Gray Primer. I would have used our white, but I did run out, so I'm going to make do. But this did exactly what I needed it to do. I did do a second coat, and it blocked the image right out. I just love this plaque because of the buffalo check around the edge and then the wood frame. So to get that white, I'm going to cover my gray primer with the Snow Owl. I'm not worrying about full coverage. And today we're going to be working with uh, our Fall Farm. It has a truck with pumpkins, a tractor, and this barn. And we're going to focus on the barn today. And I'm going to cover my plaque in Wise Owl One Hour Enamel. This is going to be my glue. I'm going to lay the barn down. I'm going to grab that saran wrap. You can get the Fall Farm at ChalkItUpFancy.com along with this brayer and the One Hour Enamel Clear. And I'm going to use the brayer just to get some wrinkles out and make sure I've made contact with my paper. On to my project. I found this napkin. Um, I did take off the back ply and I believe I got this at Dollar General. Uh, Dollar Tree or maybe even Walmart. I felt like everybody had this particular napkin um, over the memorial season and a lot of them still have it and I'm cutting it to fit the door in my barn. I wanted to get this look as if the flag was painted on the barn door and now I'm going to go in and cover my project in the One Hour Enamel Clear. And I'm going to lay this napkin down on that door. Get the saran wrap with the brayer. Now normally I allow this all to dry and then cut the edges. It does make it a little easier and that's still okay to do. But because I had that valley between the center of this picture and then that buffalo check is like a little valley. I wanted to make sure I didn't have a bunch of one hour enamel clear dripping down in there because when it dries, it kind of has a hard white dot look. So I did go gently through and cut my paper while it was wet. You just got to make sure you're not going to tear it. And this way I could clean up around that little valley area. I'm going to allow that to dry and I found these little banner type uh, pieces of wood. You can get these at Hobby Lobby and I'm painting them in red, white, and blue. This is our Bowie Republic Red and Snow Owl. And when that dries, I'm going to glue our Dollar Tree tiles saying the USA on each one. And then I'm going to string them together using some jute. and making my own little banner. And I'm gonna glue that in the upper left corner. And now you have this patriotic barn. And I really love this. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much.